Hello and welcome to another edition of Ed's Attention to Detail. Today, I'm going to be recovering a bench. This is a bench that we keep in our bedroom. It's at the foot of our bed. Nine times out of ten, it ends up with laundry or clothes or something on it. But every now and again, we like to sit on it as well. Uh, had this bench for quite a while. Um, it's covered with what appears to be some type of naga hide, and it's showing its age. So, I'm going to replace that. I've got some new foam. I've got the new material. I'm going to walk you through that and show you how I replace the, the covering on the uh, on a bench. So anyway, hope you enjoy. And uh, if you do, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And go ahead and hit the notification button so you know when I'm doing new videos. So anyway, enough of that. Let's get down to business. Let's take a look at the bench first. Okay, so here's the bench. And as you can see, the material on it is looking pretty ragged. So that's what I'm going to replace. I'm gonna put a new cover on it. I have I have a cup to hold the staples that I pull out of it. I have my new material. I have new padding for it if I need to replace the padding. And tools that I'm gonna be using. I have a hammer in case I decide to put these tacks that you see around the edge in case I put those tacks back. I got the hammer. Phillips screwdriver to take the top of the bench apart. A small straight slot to help me pull the old tacks or the old staples out. Same thing with the needle nose. Help pull the old staples. The wire cutters. I'm thinking that I can get behind the tacks with that and help get them out. This Allen key is to tighten up the legs on the bench when I'm done, and of course, an upholstery stapler, so that I can staple the new upholstery to it. So, that's what I'm going to be using, that's what I'm going to be doing, so let's get to it. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. Take a look at my hat. My wife got me this. Uh, it's a Valentine's Day gift. She actually bought me two of them. Pretty cool, huh? So, anyway, Ed's attention to detail. Pretty sweet. My wife's channel is Ernie Hatmaker. For those of you who did not know that, or if you've never been over to her channel and visited and checked out some of her videos, um, of course you know I highly recommend it, but I'm a bit biased also, so I'll let you uh, make that decision for yourself, but please go over and check her out. Okay, that's my filter driver. Let's see. And there we have base of the table off and this is what we're going to get down to business with here in just a minute. I do want to tighten up this leg right here that's a little loose. So remember I told you that's what the Allen key was for. So. And while I'm at it I'll just check the screws on all the legs and snug them all up. And we've had this bench quite some time. I uh, don't remember if I mentioned that already or not. I know at least 10 years. So it has been, uh, it's been a good piece of furniture. It was, uh, it was a good investment for us. So there we go. All the legs are tight. We'll just kind of push that out of the way. And here's all, all the screws falling out of it. The ones that uh, held, the, held the bench top. The bench. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I know that ain't all of them. batting material on it but see how the material is kind of gathered in the corners and that's what I want to do when I put it back together is uh, gather that material back up Okay, so there you got it. Got the 
the this piece off. And there's the old material. So the foam on this actually looks pretty good. So I'm thinking uh, might not need to do anything with that foam. So it's just a matter of getting the new material on it now. So to get that positioned and ready and we'll start attaching that. Oh yeah. So what I thought were upholstery tacks is uh yeah they were held on with upholstery tacks but one every three or four inches. So that was easy. on one side and just work my way around. Okay, so it's done. All in all, that took about two hours. Well, not counting the time that it took to go get more staples because it ran out. So, piece of advice. Make sure you have enough supplies when you get started with a project like this. But let's go ahead and take a look at the end result. So, you can see. Turned out really nice. Not many wrinkles in the end no more than were there on the original piece anyway so that is how you reupholster a sitting bench so thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you again real soon. Bye.